Unit six. Listening. Exercise two. Speaker one. I only started swimming seriously last year. The thing is, I used to run five times a week, but my knee started giving me problems. My doctor told me I shouldn't run so much because the impact was bad for me. He recommended swimming. I wasn't mad about the idea at first, but I found that I really enjoyed it. The only thing is, I wish I'd learnt to swim properly when I was a kid, because it's difficult to change bad habits when you're older. If I'd started to swim when I was younger, I'd be a much better swimmer now. But at least when I swim, I know that I'm exercising my whole body, arms, legs, chest, stomach. It's really complete and very tiring. Speaker two. When I was eight, I started playing basketball at school in a team. I found that I was quite good. I got better and better and became the captain of the team. I played most days of the week. And only ever thought about basketball. The problem is that I wasn't very tall. In fact, I'm still not very tall. I wish I was taller. It makes a big difference in basketball. When I got older, I was still good with the ball, but I couldn't get past the defence because they were all taller than me. But that's when I realised that I didn't care any more about being the best or about winning matches. I just wanted to play to keep fit and be with my friends. Now I wish I'd just played for enjoyment when I was younger. I still play in a team now, but just for fun. Speaker three. I love water sports, even though I'm not actually a very good swimmer. I love doing sport on the water rather than in it. Surfing and windsurfing are my favorite sports. Just that feeling of being free and in touch with nature—it's magic. It takes me two hours to get to the sea from where I live. That's why I only started surfing and windsurfing when I was sixteen. If I'd lived closer to the sea, I would have begun much earlier. I'm sure, but I soon learned, and people say I'm really good at it. It's quite an expensive sport because you need to buy all the equipment and to pay for accommodation and actually getting to the coast. Speaker four. My favourite sport is called Pilates. I saw a TV program about it once, and thought it looked interesting. The idea is that it improves strength and flexibility by controlling your breathing. Maybe people don't take it seriously, because you use big rubber balls and bands, and do a lot of exercises on mats on the floor. You don't sweat much, but you use muscles you didn't know you had. I wish people wouldn't make fun of Pilates. People ask me why I do it. Obviously, the main reason is I enjoy it. If I didn't like it, I would have stopped a long time ago. And you aren't just sitting around doing nothing. You don't seem to be making much effort, but you are. Believe me. Speaker five. One year, my parents gave me a special present. They paid for me to do a diving course because I'd passed all my exams and got really good marks. If I hadn't passed, they wouldn't have let me do it. I'm sure. In fact, I was the only teenager on the course. The rest were all between twenty-five and fifty. You can't just go and dive in the sea straight away. You have to study some theory first to know how to calculate how much oxygen you have and how much time you can stay under water. Then we went to a swimming pool where we were only one meter under the water, but some people got really nervous. I was just the opposite. Anyway, after five pool dives, we finally went into the sea and did four dives there. On the last dive, we went twenty meters down. I loved every minute of it and was really proud to get my certificate.